perfect. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be doing a wig review on this beauty here. I decided to get this wig because I want to do something different and I seen this on divatress.com's website. So I was like, you know what? Why not go ahead and try this? So I got the Sensational Synthetic Cloud 9 Wet Lace Hairline Wig. And I know I'm wearing something a bit different, but I just wanted to do the unboxing. Want to see it, want to actually test it out to see if it actually shed when I wore it. And yeah, when I actually did wear this, it did shed, like it shed. Like, and I think it's because like when you actually run your hands through it and you comb it, that's when it started shedding. But I did post this online and everybody went crazy for this hair. So I decided to do a review on it, but I did want to just actually try to test it out and wear it. So for the details of this wig, I did pay uh, $57.99 uh, for it. About 60 bucks for it is how much I paid. Um, and I will have everything linked down below so that you can check it out. So I did get this color in a T1B and I got it in silver gray. So this wig, I really like how it does go from like a natural into the actual gray color. I really like how they they blended that really well. It is synthetic. Um, it is like a silky texture. It is Swiss lace, which I really like about that. It is more of a natural kind of lace. I really like that. It does have adjustable straps. I have two combs. Actually, it has three combs. It's two in the front, right, like right here on the side, and it's one in the back. So you don't even have to glue this wig down. You can actually just wear it as is, like this, if you wanted to. And it is a six inch deep tied, deep hand tied part. So you get a lot of parting space with this wig. A lot of parting space, really like that. And it is 100% premium fiber. All of this you can find on the website. I really like the cut of it. I think that for me, I would cut a little bit more of the bob itself just to shape, to give it that fine edge. Maybe layer it just a little bit. Um, I don't like, um, I like the way it does cut in the back, but I would just snip it just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Um, I'm not getting paid anything for this. It's not a sponsorship, nothing like that. Um, I just wanted to see how this wig wore. I just wanted something short. And you know how when you wear like, for real, if you have like short wigs, they tend to last the longest. If you have like longer wigs, they kind of get mad at from you actually, you know, wearing it. So that's why I decided to get like a work wig, like a cute little work bob wig. This wig is so bad. She is bad. And I like the lace. Ooh, I just, I just like it. I just like it. Like it's cute. Like it's just, you know, it's just cute. And it is heat safe up to 350 degrees to 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. You can make baby hairs, which for me, I'm not a big baby hair fan. I'm just, I'm just not. So if you're wanting to, you can just um, make baby hairs for this wig, but I opted not to. See, because it is Swiss lace, you can just part some down and make some, but I'm just not a baby hair kind of person. Just me, just me, that's just me personally, I'm just not. But this is how I do like to style it, just exactly like this. And you can actually put some glue right here. If you're wanting to keep this style like this, I would suggest maybe be putting some glue right here and then styling it like this and just gluing it so that it uh, actually looks like this all the time. That way you're not having to flip it or push bangs forward to give it a certain look. And I got so many compliments on this color and this bob, like everybody, loves this hair <laughs> yeah it sheds a lot honestly when I was at work um, I was noticing like hairs I'm like what is this I don't have a dog what, what, what's going on and if you're wanting to you can actually I did see one youtuber uh, she actually cut it and made the whole bob she didn't have this right here she made the whole bob just one length but you know, you can do that if you want to. Um, this was a nice investment. It's all of the hair don't fall out before I actually get to, you know, maxing this out. I wanna get my return on this wig. I actually like this color. I actually like the, love, love the color. I may even do something different and actually try it in like maybe a different color. Like something like a, the rose gold that they do have on their website. Oh, I love that color. And I seen someone that they actually did the, the blue color. They did one here. It's like a dark teal color. It's the T1B dark teal. 
that one would, would be bad too. Like I said in the back, I would definitely give that a little bit of cut. Um, as far as the density of it, it is a natural density. I wish it was a little bit thicker, if that makes sense. A little bit thicker. It is a bit thin, but it does go for a natural kind of feel for it. But I just wanted to give you my take on it. It does shed. Um, but you don't necessarily have to actually glue this down. Like this is a bad wig. Like as you've seen on like YouTube, there's a lot of different people out there, a lot of different YouTubers out there that have done reviews on this wig and I like it. Leave your thoughts down below. What do you think of this wig? Do you think she bad? Do you think, you know, it's worth the coin? Let me know down in the comment section and I will see you all in my next video. Peace.